Welcome back for another video tutorial brought to you by GraphicDesignerTips.com. My name is Steve and today what we're going to be speaking about is how to design a professional looking flyer uh, for any kind of business. Uh, but in this case, if you're looking at the screen, uh, this is a flyer I designed for a client of mine and uh, this is for a dentist. Uh, office and they're going out and they're trying to sell uh, their new bleaching program so uh, keep that in mind as you're looking at the concept of uh, of this flyer here um, so what we're actually gonna do is I'm gonna shift this over to the left and I'm gonna start rebuilding this on the right so you can kind of see the techniques uh, I am gonna be copy and pasting elements but uh, for the most part I'm gonna be recreating them as much as I can from scratch so you can really see how everything is is uh, being done over here so the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come up to object go to crop area make uh, I'm gonna go to object crop area again and release and that's gonna give me uh, the exact uh, the exact size of the document I was working with which was eight and a half by eleven and I'm going to stroke that Right, let's see I have that over here ready let's get rid of that and if you guys are watching this video and it's really small I publish them in HD so you can click on the on this little uh, this two arrows on the bottom right of the video I believe and uh, it's gonna expand full screen so you can see everything that's going on um, I'll do my best to zoom in on areas also that you know I want to emphasize so uh, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, start uh, building some of the text in here so uh, obviously in this case I am going to uh, I'm going to go and go to my text tool and I go to your make over is complete all right make this just a little bit bigger I'm going to copy that using op option click shift and only when you are I gotta get this video done in 15 minutes or less. So uh, this stuff normally does not take 15 minutes. It takes a lot of planning. Uh, we go through many revisions. Uh, most of my clients don't even see because they're just ideas that I put together uh, that I've been going on, on and off of. And um, you know, my what I send to my client is uh, it could be the third version of, of what I was trying to do. So um, all right, now this box in here, I'm going to make another text box. Uh, I'm gonna come over here to my text edit, grab that, grab that text, just kind of throw it in there. Um, why put it off any longer? All right, okay. Actually, I'm just gonna say I'm gonna pull these over just because of the the time that I need on this. So, all right. We'll come back to that later. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make a rectangle and I'm going to keep this within here. Later on, I'll add the bleed. That's at the end of the project. And I'm going to, uh, I can either, obviously in this, since I have this done already, I can come over to the eyedropper or sample this and sample this. And you're going to see that I created a gradient. Uh, let me open up my window gradient. Um, all right, let's throw it in there. And my gradient is from that light blue to the white. So I'm going to redo this gradient. So the top, from the top to the bottom, it's that blue. And I'm going to make it so it's nice and light. All right, that's not gonna work like that. There we go, okay. And I'm going to send that to the back, all right. And what happens is it's because I created this 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 thing in the background there it is I took the white out so now your stroke your your color blue is in the background and we're going to uh, what do we use on this times new Roman we're going to set these to times new Roman we're gonna okay that and I believe I did on here I did I bolded these and I'm going to make this white I'm gonna move that up and I'm gonna offset only when you were smiling. Now, this is this blue is, I wanted to obviously keep, uh, uh, if the tagline smile sparkles, I like, you know, the colors, they're, they're, more, invi they're more inviting, they're more uh, inviting, they're kind of like toothpaste colors and, uh, you know, they're happy colors. So uh, that's why I decided to stay with the uh, dark and light blues. Um, let's come over here real quick and we're going to change it to bold italic 
and we're going to sample uh, we're actually gonna color this in right here only when you are smiling so that's what the that's what the top looks like um, we're gonna make this a little bit bigger um, I ended up changing those those uh, on the eye and on the two eyes and the word smiling uh, what I would do is I'm going to create outlines on that by going to type or and create outlines when it's selected I just did a keyboard uh, shortcut and I'm going to take the direct selection very important I'm gonna click on these two babies right here I'm gonna delete and I'm going to delete now I'm gonna come up to the shape on the left and I'm gonna use the star tool to make these little stars instead of these little dots it'll look a lot nicer than those dots all right. <clears throat> okay, cool. So the next thing I'm going to do is uh, after I, I made this clipping mask of this woman, I'm going to really just drag her in the layout. Um, and I'm going to show you how she's built in a minute. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to let's take this text box over here and we're going to make this a little bit smaller because you don't want to fill every space up in your document but you want you want everything to be spaced out nice and neat uh, and you want some kind of a creative flow so if uh, if we go back a second uh, to where this woman was on the left if you watch my mouse the whole piece is really going like this and you're not going boom 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 left right and going a little bit crazy uh, you know trying to read so much information it's organized in a way that it is readable and uh, it flows around the image of the woman uh, while the whole time you're reading about this and reading uh, and, and reading these things down here you still see the, this dominant image of this woman remember this is an eight and a half eleven flyer so she takes up most of it and uh, she has a beautiful uh, white smile and that's what uh, that's what the whole marketing uh, hook is it's to get people in to make their smiles better uh, to give them more confidence so um, the next thing I'm gonna do is actually let me leave her there for a second I'm gonna build these these blocks in the background and I'm just gonna drag that over you can create that using the rectangle tool just like the top one but I don't want to go through that right now uh, same thing with this red here we're going to pull this back now the reason I put this red bar here is because it creates uh, two things because it creates depth in the piece because now the woman really does look like she is uh, standing in front of something so it creates that depth right there even though I use a subtle drop shadow um, and the second thing it does it breaks up an area where I can ask where I can uh, excuse me uh, put uh, a, a, a line of copy or uh, like a call to action or something so which is what I ended up doing here so it says just ask your salon for a special discount coupon to get started so um, if I didn't have this bar here and I really wanted to emphasize that just ask your salon I probably would have to make this another color and it's it's just the way I like to break up things um, I use a lot of these bars behind uh, images sometimes uh, clipped out images because she is clipped out um, there is no background around her and uh, I do that just to create this kind of effect and uh, it definitely works because um, as you can see on screen and obviously when these were printed they look beautiful um, and not to my own horn this is just stuff that I've learned from other artists over the years so and uh, along with that by ripping things out of magazines constantly and just uh, seeing what other professionals are doing that's how I've also learned a lot so make that a habit wherever you are obviously if you haven't paid for the magazine don't rip anything out pay for it first then rip it out um, that's not very nice um, so the next thing I'm gonna do is I am going to copy this over here like so and I have this red gradient in here uh, if you don't know how to make gradients, I have another video on that. I'm not going to talk about it right now. And to separate these, I separated these with this white line because I like I like I like clashing colors to be separated uh, by something. Because if you have that red and then the blue right next to it, it kind of clashes and it looks kind of kind of boring and messy. So this brings a little bit more life to this. Um, obviously, you know how to work with type, so we're just going to pull this guy over. And instead of doing that, I'm just going to pull. I'm going to show you what this element really is made up of over here. I am going to, because I'm running about 10 minutes right now, so, and I really don't feel like cutting this up into two videos. So I'm going to pull this over here by selecting all these elements. If uh, if you're wondering why these ele all these other elements aren't selecting sometimes, it's because I go, I select them, the ones I don't want to be 
messing with and I go to command or control 2 on your PC and or you can go to object and lock so or lock selection excuse me so I can't select those anymore learn how to do these keyboard commands keep your left hand on the keyboard at all times keep your thumb by the control or the command and you'll be able to learn all these keyboard commands and fly through things uh, and make uh, constantly new ideas um, by being able to copy things quickly and, and, and such so let me copy these all over here real quick and I'm going to kind of show you what these are made up of um, bring that to the front why did that I must have just did something there what did I do there well, I didn't copy that white box over for sure so I'm going to pull that over here and I'm going to send this the heck oh, let me diagnose this real quick um, what is oh I'm on a different layer shit all right I don't have time to show you about layers right now but that's kind of what was going on I realize I created a new layer so actually to tell you the truth a lot of times lately I've been I've been designing I've been creating one layer and uh, just kind of putting everything on that because I when you know how to send things quickly to the front and the back um, you know use layers don't listen to me uh, this is just you know what I do now it makes me fly through things a lot a lot quicker and um, but I still do use layers let me uh, let me show you what's going on with this real quick uh, this is a text box which um, I love adding I love the effect of adding uh, a lot of letting on my on my boxes because obviously if there's no letting on this all right see what happens it's this big block of type and you have this whole space that you can fill uh, not that you need to fill every space but you got to keep these areas from having any big uh, big blank spaces in them so uh, just because it's going to keep the viewer going into the next element. So, in in this case, I turned out the uh, excuse me. I I leaded out the type. That's leading. Uh, that's in another tutorial about uh, typography that I'm going to be doing soon. Uh, if I've done it already, hopefully you've seen it and you've liked it. I haven't done it yet, so uh, I hope I'm going to like it when I do it. Uh, anyway, these stars right here were just stars. I you know kind of just put in here and turned in in different directions and such. And this last element uh, is the element of this woman. So this woman was a photo that I clipped out uh, in, uh, well, I cropped them as much as I could around her in Photoshop. And then I did a clipping mask around here in Illustrator and then did a separate, say, took that same clipping mask and made a separate shadow behind it because I only wanted the shadow to go from the neck down. I didn't want it coming out from her face um, and... Um, just to visually show you what uh, I just meant by that confusing thing I just said. Uh, if I pull this out here, that's not it. Um, hold on. All right. Is that it? Oh, the shadow. The shadow is on that. But I just, if you look at the points, how they don't go to the edge of her hair or the edge of her face, that was that was making it so my shadow wouldn't go over her face because I want it from, to be from the neckline and down. So uh, the last thing I would have done on this, uh, well, be actually besides adding the bottom because I got about a minute left. Um, let's copy this baby over. And these are obviously all elements. They are lined up. And I'm going to do another tutorial about alignment because alignment isn't all about all selecting all these and just hitting this uh, horizontal line. That is wrong because there are a lot of elements that don't line up perfectly and that's for, that's for another time. Um, that's it, uh, guys. Here's, uh, here's to breaking down this, this, this advertisement. Um, any questions, comments, um, I'm not going to leave these templates up there for anybody to download, unfortunately, if that's what you were thinking. Uh, but you can get some ideas from this. Make your own make your own advertisements up. Just play around. Uh, even if you don't have a client who does this, uh, try copying it anyway uh, just to you know, get the techniques down. So this is Graphic Designer Tips. Again, my name is Steve Looney. Um, go to our website to view videos and all types of goodies. So have a good night. Peace.